Hi, I'm Dimitri. Hi, I'm Nat. We're at Kotlin Conf and we're going to write diamond cutter in Kotlin using property based testing. Brilliant. Yeah. Do you know um, what property-based testing is? To some extent, from you probably. Probably, okay. <laughs> yeah, or from this blog post, yeah. like, right? So that's a blog post you wrote and where you did it in oh, Scala. Yes, I did use it Scala, but we're at Kotlin Conf, so we're not going to use Scala. Um, so yeah, so let, there's two things first. Let's discuss the Diamond Carter, and we'll talk about property-based testing. Diamond Carter is, uh, I think, yeah, as it says on his blog post, uh, Seb Rose uh, introduced me to it. It's quite a simple uh, algorithmic code. So it's not really the kind of thing that exercises a lot of test room development where you're exploring uh, a domain. You know, you're told to build, write a diamond uh, as shown on the screen there. So if you print a diamond for C, you know, you'll get A at the top. Uh, and then there's a sort of diamond without B, C, B, A. And yeah. if you had Z, you know, it'd be like A, B, C, all the way up to Z, and then all the way yeah. back to A again. So there's a little bit of algorithm to do there, um, a little bit of layout. It's quite visual, so it does work very well for sort of example-based tests. Uh, but I thought I'd use it as a way to experiment with trying to do TDD with property-based tests. Uh, property-based tests are where you specify not examples of what your code should do, but uh, properties that should always be true for your code. And then the property-based testing framework will uh, try and find uh, examples that disprove the property. So basically put random uh, inputs into the code under test. And if the assertion that expresses your property fails, then it will uh, try and shrink the example to the simplest one that creates the same failure and then report it as your code not having the property that yeah. you want it to have. Right. So unlike TDD where you will or TDD with examples, let's say, where you work with like one example and then you try and triangulate it with more and more examples, uh, property-based tests, it'll, sort of like you will, it'll do the triangulation for you. Right? Um, yeah. And then it expresses the properties of your software um, you know, in a way that is very explicit and you don't have to try and infer them from all the different examples in your triangulation mm -hmm. tests. Um, however, it also means that if you just use property-based tests, you don't have the examples of what your code does as well, which is also useful. So I wouldn't only use property-based tests, but it's a carter, so it's an interesting exercise to do to see what would happen. Yeah, so cool. Let's go and do that then. Um, so basically, uh, what we have, I guess that's the signature. Right? Yeah, yeah. So pass in a character, get back a string yeah. that is uh, all the lines, and then we can just yeah. print it. Yeah. So obviously, if we run this, this is not going to work. It's just not implemented. Yeah. So should we move to test then? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. So switch to test. Yeah. All right. So um, I might start with like a really degenerate case, which is just an example anyway, like A. Right. A is like just an A. Right? Yeah. So that's so that's a. <laughs> <laughs> that's the easiest one to start with. Um, no, no. Well, I don't. okay. I'll, I'll do this and. So A. Yeah. And then we expected assert. Uh, oh, that's that's just Kotlin asserts. Uh, assert value. Yeah. Yeah, so diamond equals A. a. That's yeah. the whole thing. That's there. It. Yeah. So this should not work still, of course. Just to see. But it's very easy to make pass. It's not yeah. really useful, but at least so. we I mean, you know. We'll see that it's. Let's make it return um, B. Let's yeah. Oh, what? Let's make it return B for now, right? B. Oh, um, yeah. okay. And we'll see um, a test failure, which we expect, and we can just check that the error message is nice. Just an A assert fail. It's not nice, all right? Let's make right. that. So here we should say that we in our test. Let's switch back to our test. I wonder if we can get a nice error message out of this. Um, right. I copied your blog, and did it you? was using Scala. Does that so not produce? Uh, no, it was pretty much that. Okay, maybe. So okay, let's project. let's just say, uh, let's assume that in real real yeah, world, we, we would make sure the messages were were good. But for this, we'll uh, just crack. We on. can still yeah. If we yeah. use Hamcrest here, that yeah, would but yeah, never mind. Uh, that, I don't I don't want to sit here wasting people's time while we bang our heads against gradle. Um, all right, let's. Yeah. So what we want to see is like okay, really, what we want 
things. No, you can. And yeah, like I'd probably you know start assume that there's some kind of exceptions test or whatever. But like, let's have a look at an example. We'll write it in here so people can see it. So like, you know, we want to see like uh, block comments. Mm, yeah, uh, it's for a diamond for a C. Yeah. And so we can then say, like, okay, what are the properties of, of this that we want, right? Um, so we can say that, you know, something like, well, it's always going to start and end with A, right? Um, yeah. it, for any character that we pass in, it will have, uh, like, twice that many, like, um, lines minus one. Um, yeah, yeah. And the width of it, each line will be, you know, twice that number yeah. plus one or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, you know, now are they a useful way of describing it? It's it's interesting to see. I think we'll just sort of like try and think of these things. And you know, you can say yeah. it's it's always symmetrical. It's like one character per line, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spaces, like. Yeah, absolutely. So it's it's well, the, the top and bottom have one character. The other ones they're always repeated characters. So oh, we no, can, also, it's know, like vertically and horizontally. It's uh, the same yes. in every column, in every row. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we could you know see whether they are yeah. a useful way of describing it. Or whether they help us, or, or 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 how they drive it. It's interesting to think like how does he drive it. Um, I don't think we've actually got a um, a, a, a property based testing library here, have we? No, so we're we'll just we're we'll just ourselves. Yeah, we we'll pretend feature. we have one. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think the whole problem space is not that big. No, we could just go from A to Z. Exactly. Basically. So I don't know what we're going to call that test first, yeah. but like um, what I want to do is just get it doing everything. So let's say like what we're going to do is like. Like, it's like all inputs basically. Yeah. Okay, so that's gonna try it for everything. Um, and then we can say uh, diamond of the C. That will actually give yeah. us back a string. Uh, oh, that's not happy. It's not happy with something. What's that not happy about? Uh, Oh, it's not list of, right? It should be just... Uh, ah, yes, of, just yes, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Right. Uh, just like that. Yeah. Better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and so then we want to say something about that. What should we say? Um, that there's a line for every character. There's two lines for every character apart from the character, right? Mm. Uh, so I can't think of a nice way of saying that, but let's... Right at first, we can say, all right, let's 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 actually split it into lines. And then we can say to lines, I can line, just lines. Yeah. there we go. That gives us a list of strings. Um, and then we can say s, uh, s dot, is it length size? Equals, okay. So we want to have, get the, what we call the ord in basic of character. So let's, uh, I'm gonna write a helper function for that. Ooh, natural order. That's too helpful. Yeah, so that will write that in a bit. Hmm. Right. Okay. Right. And I'll just yeah create returns the names. But yeah. Mm, yeah, it's not. Oops, didn't do that. Is that right? Mm, probably. So A will be zero. That's B true. will yeah. be one. Okay. So in that and case, ways. And so C. A is zero multiplied by two minus one minus one. Yeah, that doesn't sound right, does it? Yeah, 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 yeah. It should be. Let's say plus. Plus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you know, the, it must be said that like. A lot of the challenge of writing properties <laughs> is actually coming up with a good property <laughs> that is expressive no, and I'm... actually tests the things that you want to test, uh, which is why having examples is good as well, right? You know, yeah. Because an example is very easy to look at. And actually, it makes me wonder if we could, like, for property, because it's not obvious, 
could we like have diamond but also we could plug in our manually typed example of like this oh yes like yeah. uh, a to c and see if our property satisfies our manually created example yeah that would uh, be yeah, an interesting yeah, yeah, way yeah, to yeah. test drive your properties by examples yes that's which you then uh, yeah, test drive your yeah, test yeah. through properties <laughs> sort of double checking <laughs> yeah, yeah, triple yeah. checking yeah. <laughs> yeah we can have a yeah, think about that later yeah, yeah yeah okay so this is like the number of lines right number yeah. of lines um uh, okay. Um, well, that's a shift of time. I have old school key bindings. So we expect it to not work. Yeah. Oh, even A is failing now. Still. Mm -hmm. Oh, did we leave it as B? Yes. Ah, yeah. Let's get that. So, let's at least get that of doing something. No, yeah, no, obviously property will fail. So cool. Okay. So there's nothing saying what the contents of those lines are. So right now we could just repeat. Mm. Uh, yeah. So we could do move. Uh, Can you do this? Maybe. We might have to put a new line in there. Uh, line? Because we want to we, we're saying how many lines there are, right. so we definitely want to put yeah. a line in there. Yeah. Like, okay, if you have an idea. I was thinking something like, uh, well. Mm. Oh, we need order here. We do, yeah. yeah and so that's, that's cool. So we can move it out. Oops, I don't know how to. Yeah, like that, yeah. Um, so let's push that out to the top level. Uh, no, I think it's test code. And we just have to do this. Uh, fine. Let's uh, unprivate it. Uh, yeah, yeah, true. We have to. Cool. Okay. Well, still fails. Just, well, at least it compiles from there. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a good point. <laughs> cool. Yeah. All right. So, so we can say that we want. How can we? How do we like to say to generate a sequence of these things, turn it into a list? Or list of? Can we make a? We could have a slash. I think it was all right. Oh, okay. Sequence. So we can generate a sequence. I wonder if you could just say. Give me a bunch of things. I think that's what it was. Ah, okay. I, can, I think I know what to type. I think it was very close to it. I think it's this. And then you can say repeat. Like that's what we want. Ah, okay. And then yeah. we can do ord of C. Yeah. That's probably the simplest yeah. Yeah. way. Yeah. And if it's got an extra new line, I don't care. Like for now. Yeah. Uh, it will make the A example fail because it's got the new line. Maybe we can just trim it. Oh, both fail now. Ah, okay. Oh, no. Ah, cause we we need it not just all C, but plus. two times uh, two times all C plus one. Ah, yeah, it's like a duplication. Yeah. What we it is, yeah. There. And we'll, we'll but you know, eventually it will go away. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's still failing. Mm. Right, so A is failing because we need to trim it. Trim because we, we, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if it works. No, oh, everything works now. Good. <laughs> ah, oh yeah, okay. Because the extra new line made the last like, when we split oh, like into lines, it gave line, an empty line right, at the end. Oh, that's yeah. pretty. That's pretty nice. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Really, what we want to do is say like generate the lines and then join them up with a new line between them, right? But we'll we'll work oh, on yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's done. Cool. Okay. All right. So now what we want to say is. Uh, we can, we, what we can say is like given the lines, right? Um, we can we can have a test that's it's it's vertically symmetrical or it's horizontally symmetrical mm. or something like that. Um, or we can say for each line, the you know it, the line should only have an A, should only have a B, only have a C, followed by a B. Yeah, maybe a, that's right? that. Yeah. So each line has a single character. E yeah, e or a distinct character. Each yeah. line. Each line has. Distinct. Sounds like a person. Yeah. So let's this this thing. I feel like should yeah, be all function. inputs. Yeah. Should we just call it inputs as a yeah inputs? Could even leave like up there. Yeah. Maybe. And then we say inputs for each character just to be consistent. Yeah. And then we assert on our, uh, oh, we'll do diamond, diamond line right? Again. But we could have maybe map inputs to diamond and this will be all diamonds. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. 
Well, maybe all, all diamond lines. But let's work on all, all, all later. Yeah. So then do lines. Yeah. That's the same as above. And then move it S. Why it's S? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's, there they go. Yeah, I don't know why it's. It should be D, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's S. So then for each line, it's again for each. Uh, it's a line, basically, right? We're saying that line, if we can remove spaces, I'm doing like a... I was just going to turn it into a set. Uh, right, okay. Yeah, it sounds cool. Yeah. Uh, I have it to a set. There should be a set of characters there. Yeah. And then, uh, we and then it only contains... Oh, so we're doing uh, for each, and then it can only contain space. It can only contain C. The set should equal to... A set of C. Yeah. And spaces. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So There's no guarantee it will have a space. Maybe we need to remove a space. Yeah, it would be nice. <laughs> no, like, oh, that's C and space. That's what we think it's doing right now. Yeah, except the very... That won't work for A, because A is just a single line with an A on it. Yeah. With no spaces. So yeah. I then will say right. it got to set minus space because we don't care. Yeah, about that's a great idea. So that's just a set of C. Yeah. That should be or should it? It will it will fail it. now, I hope. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. So now we actually have to uh Yeah, we need different oh, characters, no. that's the gonna, thing. It's right. not gonna work. We've totally that, that that is completely wrong. Let's go back again. So each line, it's not going to be C, is it? Um, yes. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be, C it's just yeah. going to have a size of one, is what we're saying, right? True, actually, well, yeah, but that's going to pass the current test, basically. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, the current code will work with yeah. that. Okay, so that's not a, uh, oh. what? So it has this new character. It's interesting. Uh -huh. All right, we need some better diagnostic, don't we? Do. Um, for now, let's just. Oh, I think this map. Oh no, it's. What are we doing? This is just wrong, right? We should need for each here, of course. The map, and then for each line. No, we've got the lines. Oh yeah, then we're mapping it to a set. set. And then and for, for each, each one, set, the size is one. Yeah, each yeah. size is one. So it was a simple yeah. mistake. So this should pass now, for sure. Oh, it's no assertions, Grace. <laughs> it's all pass. Yeah. Yeah, so mm. that works. But okay. it's not very, it's not a very good. It's not a very good one, is it? Um, oh. You know, it, it, it does slowly start constraining the solution, right? Yeah. Um, but also, doesn't help us sort of drive to it. I think that's what I noticed with, with property based tests, like your simple properties don't drive you to make something a little bit more useful that you get with property, like with example based tests. Mm. So, you know, with, with TDD, you might add a little feature that makes the application more useful and another little feature that adds and make the mm. application a little bit more useful for a person. Why right here, we sort of say, yeah, we've got this sort of, we've got this big fuzzy space of possible programs that will you know, any one of which could meet these properties. Mm. And we're slowly trying to constrain that space down to eventually only mm. contain the, the program that we actually want. But along the way, there's nothing actually sort of guiding us to, to, to make it, you know, more and more things that someone want, right? We could for ages be coding away on something that nobody wants, just like, yeah. you know. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, it's, so it's not, I'm not saying that's a bad thing because we know what people want and we would therefore write the things that we think is going in the right direction mm. using the properties to sort of help us. But it doesn't have that kind of steady rhythm and of, of sort of like constant, like feeling a little bit better about it as you go yeah. that you get from TDD. Maybe examples. because it's more difficult to come up with good properties than with tests, tests like way more obvious, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's much easier to think of an example, especially when you're working with somebody who's not, a programmer, you can just show them an example and talk mm. about it. And like this is very, very, uh, you know, sort of abstract. Yeah. So is there another thing, another um, exact property? Well, I think now we want to say what's on each line, right? 
basically here we can say, right, let's assume that the C is not A, because A is the simplest case, right? And in fact, if we like to scroll up here a bit, um, you know, A is always there. So what's the point of testing all these things on A, right? We've got an example we'll test for A and there's nothing else it can be. So actually we only really care about B to Z because they're the ones where we're actually going to do something more complicated. Okay. Um, so, you're kind of abandoning this, those number of lines for A, you kind of abandoned that. We have, right, except, but, but we, we have, but it's covered yeah, by that. Right. Right? By this example, basically. Yeah. So, so I think it's, 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 yeah, it's okay, sort of like, a, um, it's almost inductive, right? This is the base case. And then yeah. sort of yeah. Yeah. Right. Ooh, I wonder if we could define it to be written in an inductive way. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I mean, that's a, that might be another blog post. Um, so here, what I want to say is, right. So I actually, I don't, I don't need to remove this now, right? What I can say is, right, okay. I, can, I know that it's going to have a space in because we're ignoring the A case. Right? Um, and so let's rename that. Inputs after A. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So these are the distinct characters um, for each index. What I, why did I put that in? That's like... A, because we wanted to calculate the character we expect in chars based on its index, I assume. Because it will ah, yeah, be yeah, something yeah, like yeah, yeah. a yes. plus yes. index something. Right? So these are the chars on line. Yeah. And okay. this is the line index. Okay. That helps me understand what's going on. Oh, yeah. Line zero. Oh. Because it didn't contain white space somehow. It should. Oh, of course. We've not put oh. any white space in at all. We're not indenting them. So now it's like to make this work, we've got to put at least some white space in there. Yeah. Um, That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> um, Can we just add a white space and it will like move on to the next? No, because that'll break the A case. So now we've actually got right. to put some logic in. Oh, no. Um, so I've been hoping to delay it for a yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we could we could be really hacky, like you know, if no, C, no, 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 that's just like, yeah. um, so what do we want to do? We want to like basically generate some characters. Um, so that's going to be like well, in fact, it's going to be like Indexed. All right, so depending on index, we can generate white space. Yeah. yeah. We don't need all white space, right? We need like just at least more than one. Yeah, I, th I actually, but, yeah, so I think let's call that line index. Oops. So we say like line index. And and then, yeah, 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 it just repeats. Repeat. Yeah. yeah, also, like, it's, it's a thing in many other languages. <laughs> I wish they did. Yeah. Um, plus C. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, plus line char. Um, uh, and then we're going to join the string. Yeah. With a new line. Yeah, and I think there is a necessary pattern on line 13. Like the, the beginning oh, yeah. of the line, I think. So this is the amount of indent. Yeah, good, good, good to do. Mm -hmm. that well. uh, how do I uh, so select? I... Oh, you've got old school key uh, binding, which I can yeah. no longer remember. Uh, so this is like... Uh, right, and then... Then we continue... Uh, yeah, it will be indent one C. Is that right? No, indent Just line minus index. line index, yeah. Is that right? Mm. Oh dear, I'm getting old. <laughs> it might be, yeah, I think you're right. Line index one. Yeah. Let's try that. It's been a long day at Kotlin Con. 
Or just one fail. Number of lines. Oh, that's cool, because we haven't yet. But, I mean, that's correct. The number of lines property is correct, but our code is not yet generating the right number of lines. Right? So, um, and, it's, and it's also not yet like flipping the lines over, but let, mm. that's fine. So let's let's say like these are the lines. Um, so and then love of thing top lines. Mm. Top oh, lines. Yeah. lines. Yeah. And then let's Yeah, it's the same thing. Drop lines. Dot drop lines. Dot drop lines. Is that right? Uh, maybe drop and then reverse. No, because we want to keep. What, what, what does drop do? Does he drop the first one yeah, or drop the last like, one? Yeah, it's sort of like a tail. That's basically. Yeah, it. yeah. So that's right. So we reverse it and then we we don't reuse the right. little line. Yeah, right? yeah. Right. And then we're yeah. going to return. Oops. The expected character we're saying is plus the line index, but of course it starts reversing again. Right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It becomes interesting. Yeah. Should we? So we, what we could say is just like we're going to take the top half, right? And then we, uh, yeah. and we can say we can sort of start narrowing it down by properties to say, mm. look, if we if we specify what the top half, in fact the top quarter is, then all we need to say is, and it's also. Uh, um, symmetrical vertically yeah, and it's symmetrical cool. horizontally, and then we sort of specify what it is. Each other, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, although we're not saying anything about the amount of indenting, to be honest. Um, if we only put a single indent, uh, then I think that would also pass these tests. Which, which is the, yeah, which yeah. isn't great, is it? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So just like drop we half kind of the like, lines, yeah. basically. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So. The lines we can see yeah. So we can say like take Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Approximately. We could put it up and then log on L. There we go. No, it's random. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Look, look at this. Yeah. yeah, it's getting there, getting there. Yeah. So now we want to be able to say something like, let's let's write a test for the index, right? Um, so right now we're saying to set up character, but why don't we just say um, we'll test the top quadrant, right? What should the top quadrant be like? So what do you mean? So like we can say the top quadrant, quadrant is, is is a single character indented, like yeah, top uh, top left quadrant or something, yeah. Yes. So, uh, uh, single character indented or something like that. Yeah. Okay. So then, so then what we can do is actually we can just specify what we expect to see. I'm not, not sure what, what do you mean single character indented? What do you mean by that? Um, so what I want to do is say like okay, so I've taken the these are the top lines. Let's let's call this these are the top lines. Um, yeah. Now I'm gonna say Brilliant, take, um, all right, so that, oh, mm. I don't have the size on a string, but you do on a list, is that right? Yeah, like length, yeah. It's a bit annoying, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Why, why didn't they fix it in Kotlin? <laughs> so that's our top, there's our top left. Now top left, that should now, should be correct. Uh, and we can also say that actually, what do we want the indenting to be? It's going to be 
it feels like we're like duplicating some of the implementation of it, yeah. um, which is a bit, mm, a bit horrible, isn't it? Um, yeah, because see that I don't really know that much about property based testing. <laughs> maybe this, <laughs> maybe this is like an example that is not a great example for doing it because it doesn't have very nice. Uh, sort of universal properties that are easy to test, you know. Mm. Um, um, but you know, let's keep. I, I think press on, and then we sort of like. Yeah, it's interesting yeah. to see where does this technique work, where does it not work. Yeah. Um, okay. Also, yeah, maybe this also depends on how you express properties. Like, yeah, the way we express feels a bit like mouthful. <laughs> it does. It really does. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. But it's okay. Yeah. Let's yeah. just move on. Or maybe you'd want to say like, how much is it in debt? Yeah, you know, right now sort of smashing it all into one, um, and I'm gonna keep changing property. Maybe that's not the way. It's not certainly not the way I did it. I did it the first time, but you never do it the same time twice, do you? So you know, it's <laughs> like, um, all right. So like, I'm gonna say like, um, yeah, I just feel that I am repeating myself now. I don't like that. What would be a better way of putting it? Um, do all of our test pass? It might be all right just to go, you know what, let's just focus on the other symmetry, aspects of the symmetry. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Top. Oh, okay, I missed this bit. So but it still fails, this, this new one. Because we're not actually making it symmetrical yet. But what we're doing here is we're splitting out the top quadrant based on the size of the lines, but we're never actually creating the real lines to be reflected. Therefore, this quadrant is chopping out bits right. that don't it's exist. We're already just creating the half, and then yeah, we take yeah, half yeah, of yeah, the yeah, half, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. Like not a half yeah. quadrant basically. Yeah. Right now. And we don't have any properties that sort of drive out what that you know thing should look like. But what we can do initially, just to get the test passing again, uh, is uh, switch to the implementation. Um, And then we can just like, for each line, we want to be able to sort of like top part of lines, dot map, actually. So, yeah, One. we could do all lines if you Yeah, can. yeah, so then we want to, yeah. And then dot map line to L dot plus L dot drop one. Okay. Mm, um, context. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just fixing it by by one. All right. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's come back there. We've got things passing. Let's yeah. actually now do the bit where we say it's going to be symmetrical. Yeah. I think we already make it symmetrical because we wrote that without actually testing it, right? This well, bit where we do the if we though, if we right? delete this reverse bit off, right? Yes, um, so. Which we wrote without any test driving, that should still pass that test because we're only looking at the top quadrant, right? And then we can write some properties that say it is some yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Okay, so that obviously wasn't tested properly. Now we can force that out, right? Let's say that it's add a add a property that says it's vertically symmetrical. Cool. So, um, so let's grab the lines. That's yeah. that's what we copy paste. Could be reflected, of course. Yeah. But yes. So if we take the line, the, the, the top half. Yeah. So we want top. Oh, we had this. Top. That's top. Oh, and there's another way that I think we're doing it. Um, this top half, right? Yeah. Basically. And then having. the bottom half. And then, and then, if you reverse the bottom half, it should be the same as the top half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want bottom half, which is this. Ah, I should just do drop. drop I think, yeah. Is but that... we, we, we want. I think we want to take that the, the plus one off because we want to say because it's it's an odd, it's an yeah, you know, it's yeah, not it's e even, e even dimension, it's odd dimension. So it's 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 tricky. Top half is bottom half reversed. Yeah. Or vice versa. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, so if we put the reverse back in now, Whoa. Nice, nice, nice. Twist. Yeah. yeah. Now that, that I'm happy with that property. I think that kind yeah. of is quite expressive. Yeah, this one is good. Yeah, yeah definitely. And we can do the same thing for for um, horizontally spec symmetrical. It's going to be just as simple. Or no? I wonder. Uh, yeah. So then it'll be for each line. Right. So the lines each. Uh, yeah. Then the lines, left half. Yeah, know. we could do something. Similar. Yeah, let's make it look the same. So left half and right half. So do this as line. Yeah. Left half. That's so annoying, man. Yeah, but that is what I mean. And right half. And then that's line dot length. Yeah. I'll fix it. We should just write our own extension property. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, that's that's it. Let's, yeah, well, let's see. Now that should fail because we've yeah. done that. Yeah, yeah, horizontal. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. And then it's here. Then. And so that should be L dot drop one dot reversed or oh, reversed. I would think it should be symmetric. I might be wrong. Just just like this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It should be looking the same. Yeah. Wow, nice. okay. We've made the ultimate test with yeah. type F. <laughs> so brave going for F straight away. All right. Yeah, this looks mm. good. That's a, yeah. It has all this sense here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's all right. That's the thing. Um, it's interesting. I'm not sure it's like the simplest code, this, but that's. No. Um, That's I think this. I mean, I would. So I would. Exp I would probably pull this stuff out. This is like not. You know. I think once we've refactored a little bit. Um, like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's going to be a horrible method name. Um, <laughs> Maybe feel this like my favorite thing to line. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't know. I don't. This is just. Or I this. don't really see that one of any one of those arguments is more of a receiver than any of the others. So I would, I yeah. would leave it off. Yeah. Um, I think that, I think that's that's good enough, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. We could work out what the line char is from the line index, right? Yeah. So we could say, yeah, so line here instead of line char, yeah, uh, is um, it's basically A plus line index, right? Yeah, so I'll call this A plus uh, line index. Yeah. And that's going to work. And then we can all enter on that. Yeah, so I'll run here. this now. Just, oh, running the wrong thing from the... Yeah, the wrong thing. But it looked correct. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so this still works. Yeah. So can we remove this thing now? Cool. Intent. Yeah, but that's could have inlined everything there. Inline index could be calculate oh, so we don't need this. It becomes oh, yeah. more interesting, so it's just basically indices. <laughs> oh yeah. You could have done like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, to list. Oh, it doesn't have indices there. I'm not sure if I will like this. Indices map. So that should still yeah. work. Um, I'm not saying that's yeah. great. And in fact, at this point, we could just make that range of ints, right? Because really what we want is ord A up to ord C, or, right, or zero up to ord C. Right. So what? And then map. Like yeah. A minus it. No, I don't think so. We actually don't need this to be a character because we never use it. Right. This is is going to be zero to order C. Map. Right. Yeah. So with zero, we need to say like zero to order yeah. C. Yeah. That becomes in. Then no, don't need list. Yeah. Just map basically. Yeah. 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 Uh, interesting. Yeah. Maybe just even that <laughs> looks kind of cryptic now. 
Yeah, that, that yeah. works definitely. Oh, should, should I like embrace with it? I just sometimes play with him. Yeah, this no, is no, super no, cryptic fine. now. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's that bad. I don't think yeah, it's that bad yeah. at all. Um, it's a shame that we have to part. You know, we could actually make that a sub, a sub, you know, a, a nested function, and then yeah, you could just it. map the. Well, we can yeah. totally can. Let's see. So works. And then we don't need the C. If we, if we just rename that to X and then you can like alt enter it away. Oh, yeah, good idea. That's a good thing. Uh, yeah. And then we can turn that into a reference. Can we? If it's a local thing. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Nice. Okay, nice. it's looking better. Yeah. It's a real shame that we can't make this polymorphic because one's a string, one's a list, but there's no type classes in common. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think we just for now have to suck up that that duplication. Yeah, but yeah, that this looks better now. Yeah, we could also use let, but I don't. don't no, no yeah. not, not in this context. Yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, so I guess I'm semi happy yeah. with this. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not happy with. <laughs> not happy with. Oh, well, test this yeah. separate yeah. reflections. Yeah, <laughs> what to do about that? I don't know. I mean, we're coming up to an hour now. And yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I think like, like that's fine. Bang our heads against this long yeah, enough. No, it's like, um, don't don't look here. Yeah. But I'm quite happy with the with the coverage. It's a different approach, different set of properties that I wrote the last do, time. Do um, we want to actually see it? Just to see lines. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. So But I'm sure it's going to be all green. Well, sure. I'm the thinking more it's like the sort of conceptual coverage. Is... Oh, it's not showing the right thing. Okay. No, no never mind. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, it was that good. Was quite interesting. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, yeah. thank you. Yeah, well, thank you. Cheers. Yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye.